Greetings and salutations, YouTube and Twitter here. You guys are super close to my face because I'm like trying to hide from the sun. But welcome to the video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. We are here today at the Goodwill, actually, but the one by my house. So um, I haven't been here in a really long time because every time I've been here during the pandemic, there's been literally nothing in the store. But you know what? I figured I might as well try it and see what we can find. So let's go check it out. But if you guys love thrifting, thrift house vlogs, home decor, cooking videos, and all that fun stuff, do not forget to subscribe to the little bell button so you notify when new videos to go up at me on Instagram. It's Adrian. Just like it's spelled here, check out my shop. It's Hadrian.com to see whatever sale from the fifteen pictures. So without further ado, let's put on our masks and head inside. Alright guys, let's head inside and check it out. Alright, they have this Marc Jacobs bag. Kate Spade. They're pretty expensive. That one's 50. This door is so empty, like look at how empty that is. There's like nothing. They do have this Elliot Luca though. I've had this bag a couple times in the shop, but nothing this strap. $7.99. Steve Madden. Leather. Say on it, Corte something accessories. Oh my gosh, I almost thought this was like a Madewell bag. It's just like a pleather one. Oh, here's a coach, $9.99. Not in the best shape though. So maybe you know. Pleather. I keep looking at that, I keep thinking it's Tory Burch, but it's not. Front, I think this is just pleather too. There's the Chanel looking bag. What is this? Karen Miller. What's this? Zara. This bag is like Yopi or something. There's this Kate Spade patent. But that's pretty damaged. $10. Melly Bianco. Nine West. So empty. Giant letter. Oh my gosh, these trees are actually kind of cute, to be honest. These are all threshold ones, ten dollars. That's cute. I don't like those. They have some jewelry boxes, dancing figurines. Vacuums, sidewalk chalk. Oh, it is bare. A bunch of Angry Birds cups. Not an anthro mug. This is like Target, I think. Barely any plates right now. In case backpack is ten bucks. Even the DVDs are like super sparse. I right, just have a store, let's go home. Alright you guys, we're at a store called Lineage Trading. I'm not going to bring you guys inside with me, but I'll show you guys if I find anything. 
All right, you guys, just got back inside the car. There was so much stuff. I'll talk more about it when we get home. And I'll, I took photos and everything, so I'll show you guys all that stuff. But I ended up getting just one thing, and it's this Tory Burch bag. And I'll show you guys that more of that when we get to the house again, too. Um, I just stopped in really quick because I have been following their Instagram. They've been having some pretty cool stuff, so I wanted to see what they had. Uh, but yeah, let's go back home. Hey guys, okay, so um, it's actually like a couple days later, but I wanted to show you guys what we ended up getting. So let's talk through um, the video first. So we went to the Goodwill. I haven't been to that Goodwill in a while. Um, when, the when the pandemic first started, of course, like all the Goodwills closed and they opened. Even when they first opened, like I didn't go for like a, like a few months. And then I did go there to try to drop off stuff. A couple times and I think was I successful in dropping I know because okay so I went there I was able to drop stuff off and then they stopped accepting donations and then uh, yeah cuz then I had to go like all the way to like the other Goodwills in Orange County to do drop-offs to do, to, to, do, to, do, to do donations and then they were accepted there but uh, when I went to the one by my house I did go to the store really quick, um, not very many people in there, and not that much product in the store, like, and every consecutive time that I've gone after that, there's been, like, less and less in the stores, and this time, there was, like, even less, there's, like, it's like a ghost town in there, so, um, I, I should have asked if they were accepting donations, maybe I could call and ask them, but, um, they just don't have very much at all, I know they're taking a lot of precautions, um, with like putting out stuff like they'll get the donations they will wait a certain amount of time i don't know if they clean stuff off but um they wait like a certain amount of time before they put them out on the floor so yeah i have no clue but uh that is what what that well that's what was happening over there then after that we went to uh this little like it's kind of like a it's like a crossroads buffalo exchange type of store and that store was, like, this is the first time I went in, like, forever. Like, even after the pandemic started, like, even before the pandemic, I didn't go at all, like, in 2000. Yeah, this, like, we, I didn't go at all. Um, I feel like the last time I was there was in two, sometime in the middle of, like, 2019, which is crazy. Yeah, something like that. It was, it's been a while, so... Um, I did take pictures of stuff that I saw, so I'll, like, pop them up right, um, in, right here when I talk about them. But let me look on, the, on my phone as reference, because I honestly don't even remember what I saw anymore. But, uh, they had some great stuff, and I was pretty pleased that I went there to go check it out, because I did not know that they would have, um, anything that was, like exciting i've been there before and um i don't know i just never really found anything but um this time where are the photos jeez louise ah okay here we go so um first thing i did see was this gorgeous like mini like a little chloe and it was the chloe alice so again, I'll have the photo right here. Um, that bag is so cute. It was the smallest size, so it was, like, about this big. Uh, I loved it. That bag retails for, like, a thousand-something dollars. It was missing the crossbody strap, and it didn't have, like, the dust bag or anything, which was, like, kind of, like, a bummer for me. So it was on consignment, so it was more expensive. And I think, um... When I asked for the price, it was like $250, something like that. So, it it definitely was more expensive, but the bag itself was not in too bad of condition. Uh, but then again, I was just like bummed that I didn't have the crossbody or the other, um, the other accoutrements that go with the bag. At, like, it was being, it was on consignment, so. Um, yeah. I'm gonna, like, I don't know how they, their, uh consignment stuff works. I know like in other places where they have consignment like over a certain amount of weeks the price will drop and yeah I don't know how this place works though so. Um, then there was a 
a, a pair of Gucci slides. They were red. They were super duper cute. And, but they were $300, so that was pretty pricey. But um, it did come with like the box and everything. So that was cool. Uh, sorry. You know, drink something. Then up next, um, there was a really cute yellow Balenciaga bag, which was adorable, but um, also pretty pricey. How much was it? $275. Um, then they had this really nice um, Tory Burch. It was brown. Uh, I think it was like an older style though, like when Tor like around when Tory Burch like um, kind of first started. Uh, it was $55. I was, like, kind of, like, mmm, decided whether or not to get it. But then, um, uh, I saw, like, another one, which was another Tory Burch. Again, this is another older style. It was canvas and then, uh, printed snakeskin and then brown leather for the crossbody strap. This one was 50 I really liked that one, except the corners had a lot of wear on it and it was fabric. It was, it had, like, discoloration and rubbing and, like, since it's fabric, that's kind of like, eh. So, didn't get that. But it was really cute. I did appreciate, like, the I love the color of it. Then, um, I found a red Dooney and Burke. It was all canvas and white leather trim. Really cute. I like the print on it a lot. And it was in really great condition. $35. And then, <laughs> I love that, like, I'm going through um, all the stuff that I'm seeing. Um, then they had this Kate Spade, and it was, uh, like a bright fuchsia pink. Really cute, $40, uh, but it had way too much wear for the price. And then there was a, b uh, blue Safiano, uh, Tory Burch wallet, and it was $30. I didn't ask to see it, because I kind of forgot, because I was like, ooh, I'm gonna go ask to see it, but then I ended up asking to see the stuff that was in the cabinet display, which was what I saw in the very beginning. Um, so I forgot to, uh, like, take a look at it. But it looked like it was in good shape, but I didn't end up getting it a little expensive. But the item that I did end up getting, um, was this. And it is this beautiful Tory Burch drawstring bucket bag really nice. It has gold hardware. It has Tory, like, the Tory Burch logo right there. It also has, like, um, the Tory Burch little logo on the hardware right there, and then it has a little charm. Where's the charm? So, like, it's, like, blinged out. <laughs> and it's really cute. The inside is in great shape. The bag was $65, though, so it was a little bit more expensive. And what I didn't notice, though, when I was in this store, like, I don't know how I missed it, like, I was probably just, like, so excited that the bag was so cute, was that there is, like, this black mark or, like, a dark brown mark on the back. We are definitely going to try and fix it. We're going to do a handbag rehab. Uh, I feel like it might be from, like, rubbing up, like, from another bag. It might be that. Or it might actually be from the edge coat on the bag. And it's just like, it was just like sticking onto here. And that can also cause like a, kind of like a transfer. So I'm hoping that we can clean it. Uh, but it is pretty much just primarily on the back. There's a little bit right here on the corner, but it's not really noticeable. But back here, like it's pretty intense, but it is the back of the bag. So I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm hopeful that we can get it out, so we're gonna do a handbag rehab on this. That video will probably be up very soon. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much all that I got, just that one bag. But I feel like, um, it was still a good trip. I mean, I, it kind of satiated, uh, my need to go to the Goodwill over there, because I, I always wonder if they're gonna have, like, like, new items. They did not. Um... And, I don't know, everything was just, like, really sparse. So, but I don't know. There's probably still some gems in there. I didn't really go through the clothing at all because I was in a hurry. Uh, but uh, I did go through, like, the... They have, like, the new racks of clothes that they bring out first before they set them out onto the floor. I did go through those, didn't see anything. Home decor was, like, nothing. Uh, shoes was, like, empty. <laughs> There's, like, barely anything there, so... But yeah, well, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, 
let me know how the thrift stores are in your neck of the woods. I know this one, this the one, the Goodwill by my house, um, had like, it was like empty, but then if I go to like the Orange County Goodwills, those are like full to the brim, like they have so much stuff, so I don't know if this is, if it's just this one location, or, um, it's other, like, Goodwills as well, so let me know, let me know how your stores are down below in the comments, and, yeah, do your stores have a lot of items in them, or are they, like, tapering it down a lot? Let me know down below, let's, I, I, I'm really interested in finding out. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to say hi down below in the comments, especially if you guys are new to the channel. Welcome. So happy to have you guys here. Uh, I promise we're going to have a ton more exciting, fun trips. I just, like, really wanted to do this so I could show you guys, like, how empty the store was. Because I know um, in, like, my, like, normal videos that I go to, the thrift stores, they're, like, super packed and super full of, like, stuff. And, you know, sometimes it really just depends on where you go and, like, the climate of the area and all that stuff. So, anyway, hope you guys had fun. I love you guys so much. See you tomorrow by early at 7, at 7 a.m. for a new video. And then, uh, there's gonna be a vlog that's up at 11. Alright, I'll see you guys then. Bye!